Like, that is the cutest thing ever. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Boop. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. So today's video, I wanna talk about the clothes in my closet that I will never get rid of. As much as I love talking about new thrifted pieces, I think it's important to obviously value the pieces that you already own. And there are a lot on this list that I literally thrifted back in 2018, or even ones that were a big part of my personal style, like changing forever. And so I just wanted to highlight them and before we actually get into it, I wanted to thank today's sponsor, which is Blue Land. Blue Land creates everyday eco-friendly cleaning products that can help you cut down on your single-use plastic. And especially right now, since we are in the midst of the holidays, I'm always quite reflective on my own plastic use. And I feel like also during this time, I accumulate a lot of trash. So that's why I'm super excited to be working with Blue Land and just myself using Blue Land products. I got the holiday hand soap gift set which was inspired by a box of chocolates it contains 12 tablets each in a unique scent i'm gonna start out with the peppermint scent because it smells so good and i'm just like a sucker for anything peppermint blue land uses no single use plastic in any component from bottles tablets and wrappers to shipping blue land tablets also start at only two dollars and 25 cents per tablet or you can get even more savings by buying refill in bulk or setting up a subscription. They are super easy to use. All you need to do is fill your bottle with warm to hot water, drop in one tablet, let it dissolve, put the nozzle back on and use in minutes. No shaking or stirring needed. So to stock up on sustainable cleaning products for yourself or give a sustainable gift to friends and family this holiday season, click the link right in my description to check out Blue Land. I figured we could start off with my favorite thing to talk about, which is jeans denim. Does anyone remember when I used to make like dedicated how to thrift mom jeans video? I literally made multiple and I love all of my jeans and my denim collection. And realistically, I would like to never get rid of any of them, but I wanted to narrow it down to just two pairs of jeans that I can truly say I would never get rid of. The first pair is like, like my tried and true. These are probably the jeans that I have had the longest. I believe I originally thrifted them either at the end of 2017, beginning 2018. So it's going on four years and they will just be forever my favorite jeans that I've ever thrifted. I'm pretty sure I thrifted them for $4. They are originally from the brand Route 66. The wash of these is absolutely beautiful. I think they are one of my lightest pair of denim. And I think the reason why I wanted them to be like my number one favorite pair of jeans is because I used to be terrified of wearing light colored denim. All throughout my life, I was super insecure. I only wore dark denim or like black denim. And so this was me really stepping outside of my box. And because of that, now I would say half of my jeans are kind of like a lighter wash. This one's the lightest, but then it kind of goes darker from there. But I would have never even gone to like a medium wash denim if I hadn't thrifted these. I did also want to include these jeans, these colorful, very fun Xena jeans in this because they are a pair I will never get rid of for different reasons than the previous denim. It's mainly because they're so freaking cool. I thrifted them when I was in Portland back in 2019 and they're just a really rad jean. They definitely give them more of a mom jean style just because the leg is a little bit baggier, but they do look better with the bottoms cuffed. And these Xena jeans were like everywhere on Depop. People were selling them for crazy prices. And I ended up getting mine for $40, which is definitely still pretty pricey, but I think I got it at a vintage place. They just make me happy every time I look at them. I don't think I've honestly worn them since probably 2020, but I just feel like they are one of those pieces that I would never want to get rid of because they're so special. The next one I also thrifted, I think in 20, oh, was it 2020? I don't actually remember when I thrifted this. It is this 
forest green slip dress. It is originally from Victoria's Secrets and this is what started my love for slip dresses. Like I definitely am not as obsessed with slip dresses as I used to be, but this I'm still obsessed with. If I could wear this every single day, I would. I feel like I've probably worn it in almost every single outfit video I've done since I thrifted it. Oh, I did thrift it in 2019. I did because I remember taking photos in it like at the end of 2019. So I definitely thrifted it in 2019. But I think the reason why this one is so special compared to other slip dresses that I've gotten is the silhouette of it. The way that it, it's not a fit flare, but it slightly flares out, but not in the like 2010 Bethany Moda fit and flare dresses, if that makes sense. It does it in a very elegant and soft way. I can style this on top of a graphic tee. I can style it by itself. I can style it as just almost like a cami by tucking it into my pants. Like it is so versatile and I will forever have this piece. I really wanted to mention one of my puff sleeve tops because puff sleeve tops, I mean, I'm wearing pun right now, have been such a core part of my person, so my personality. They kind of have been a core part of my personality, let's be honest. And I made a video at the beginning of this year talking about trends that aren't trendy anymore, basically pieces that I thrifted because technically that style was trendy. And then now they are like core parts of my personal style. And I talked about puff sleeve tops, but I wanted to specifically talk about one that would be the puff sleeve top that I would never get rid of. And specifically white puff sleeve blouses, I think is like my favorite style of a puff sleeve. And it was hard to figure out which one is my favorite, but I think this one that I thrifted in spring this year, it's originally from H&M. And actually Miss Jenna Phipps found this when we went thrifting. We like met for the very first time in person and went thrifting together and she ended up finding this for me. And so it does kind of have like a special place in my heart because obviously she found it. But I think it is my favorite fit of all the puff sleeve tops, honestly, that I own. And I just feel like a angel in it, if I'm gonna be honest, especially with my hair right now. I love the sleeves of it. it just makes me feel very confident. I could honestly wear this similar to the slip dress every single day and be completely happy. I do have two pairs of overalls just because I couldn't decide. And again, each of them gives a different purpose. And the first one are my Winnie the Pooh overalls that I'm pretty sure I thrifted in 2018. I think it was $8 at Goodwill. I had like randomly gone to a Goodwill that day and I saw this and like Woody the Pooh overalls, 100%, you're not gonna find for like under $40. I know, I recently thrifted another pair of Winnie the Pooh overalls, I believe for $40. I have worn them to Disneyland so many times and I feel like this is just such a gem to have found at the thrift store that even for that reason, I will never get rid of them. And the next pair of overalls, I recently thrifted from the UK, yeah. They're just plain and a long leg. And the reason why I will never get rid of these is because I believe having a pair of lawn overalls is a closet staple for everyone. And I used to be absolutely obsessed with overalls back in 2018, 2019. And I had a pair of lawn overalls and I ended up selling them. And ever since I did that, I have regretted it. So now that I finally found another pair that actually does fit me better than the previous pair, so I guess, you know, everything happens for a reason, uh, I will never be getting rid of these. I will take them to my grave. This one I wore recently and it reignited my love for it, which is this striped pink. I guess it's just like a sleeveless turtleneck sweater. It's beautiful. It is amazing. I originally wore it in a video, I think at the beginning of this year. And then I wore it recently in a video and I just, I love it. I don't know why I don't wear it more often. It is kind of like a statement piece. So it isn't necessarily like a sweater vest that's just plain that I can kind of wear in different outfits. It is pretty, you know, in your face, but it is such a unique piece. And it's just the perfect, perfect type of sweater. It's not too itchy. It like is firm and thick, but not in an uncomfortable way. This next piece I probably have worn in almost every single video since I got it, which is this brown belt and 
when did I, I can't honestly remember. I feel like I found it at the thrift store, did I? I had thrifted a belt just like this that was thicker from Etsy during 2020. And I love that thing, I still have it, but I really wanted a smaller version of it, which like, I mean, like how rare is that to find? And then I found this. It doesn't say where it is originally from, so I can't even like help any of you that comment like where did I get it? What is the brand? Because there is no brand on it. And it makes me so sad because this is the perfect waist belt. It fits me amazing. It adds something to every single outfit. And funny enough, I prefer brown belts over black belts. I only own one black belt and like it's good. It does what it needs to do. But wearing this, it just makes the outfit. I have a lot of jackets in this video because I feel like jackets are such an easy piece to throw on to every outfit. So I just have a couple that I will never be getting rid of, but I do want to like space them out because there is a lot. So I'm first gonna talk about my puffy Sherlene I am Gia jacket because wow was this so trendy back in 2018 like everyone had it i've heard recently some people be like i'm embarrassed to wear mine because it's so like outdated i do not care this thing has been there for me through thick and thin anytime it's actually quite chilly and i need a jacket that's going to keep me warm it is always this one i don't think it necessarily like makes the outfit like Truly, I don't wear it necessarily for like the style of it. I wear it because it's comfy and it makes me feel cozy. I have another dress in this video and it goes perfectly with the top that I'm wearing right now, which is, oh, I gotta zip it up, make it look presentable. This cute little gingham dress. I mean, again, you've you've probably seen this in every single outfit video I have ever made. I actually actively try not to wear it in outfits videos because I, I wear it so much. Much, but it's so easy to pair with anything. It fits me so great. I have been searching for more dresses in this style, this like square neck style, and I have literally not found any. So that's why I just keep wearing this one. I can layer with it. I've also tucked it in to make it more of just like a little tank top. I like putting a turtleneck under it. This is a piece I wear during every single season. It makes me feel again confident, which, you know, dresses can be a very like scary thing, especially if you aren't comfortable in them. And so with this one and the slip dress, they both have helped me get more comfortable with the dresses. And so that's why also I'm like, this also helped me develop my style and again step outside of my comfort zone. I originally wasn't going to include pieces that I've thrifted this year because I am going to be filming like my favorite pieces that I thrifted in 2022 but they are pieces still that I would never get rid of so I don't care. I, I love them so I will talk about them multiple times and this one actually is kind of funny in that when I originally thrifted it it was 50% off at Crossroads. It is this suede vest originally from the company Cripple Creek. And originally I really wanted to find a leather vest like this, but I just haven't been able to find any at the thrift store. And so I went to Crossroads, which is kind of like Plato's Closet, probably like three months ago. And I saw this, tried it on and I was like, okay, isn't exactly what I want, but like it has the style and I'll, I'll just get it. And ever since I thrifted it, I have worn it so many times. And I do own a couple different vests and waistcoats and kind of looking at them, this is the one that I truly feel like I will never get rid of. And again, when I like brought it home, I was like, wait, was this a mistake thrifting it? Like maybe it was 50% off because it was so ugly that nobody else wanted it. But no, no, those people just didn't have style. Similar to my jeans, I do own a couple, not, I, I don't own as many denim shorts as I do jeans, but I do own a couple. I would say a lot of them are ones that I would never get rid of. But when I was looking at them, I was like, okay, but which one would I 100% know I would not get rid of? And it has to be these jean shorts. They're originally from the company Not Guilty. These are just like my go-to shorts. I've definitely been more into the longer Bermuda high-waisted shorts the past, I would say, two summers. But regardless, this is always going to be such a staple. And they fit me, again, amazing. They make me feel comfortable. And I feel like during summertime, you already feel terrible. So having, you know, bottoms that aren't going to add to your uncomfortability is so important. They fit me really well, but also leave 
leave a little bit of room in the waist area so if I don't want you know to be wearing super tight high-waisted shorts I can just rock them as they are or I can put them with my brown belt and again I just randomly thrifted them one day and now they are my number one pair of denim shorts that I own okay nobody's going to be surprised about this one and I'll try to make it short because I feel like I talk about these all the time so I'm gonna try not to spend too much time but technically I would never get rid of these which are my Doc Martin Jadens these I mean I love them so much. They are my favorite Doc Martens that I own. I have said goodbye to some Doc Martens in the past, but these forever will be my favorite shoe I think I have ever owned in my life. I think I got them in 2018 and like truly these have become part of my personality because they are always my go-to shoe. They are comfortable for me. I know for some people these are like literally cement but for me I didn't really have to break them in. If you do have issues breaking in Doc Martens I recommend getting them second hand. Anytime somebody is like which Doc Martens should I get? I always say these ones. This piece you may not know about if you haven't watched any of my YouTube shorts. I feel like you probably have because this actual YouTube short is like my most watched YouTube short which is crazy. Um, But it is this thrift flip comforter dress and I originally made the YouTube short for a sponsorship but then it ended up like not working out or something and I had to make something else but I had still made this and still filmed the process so I just ended up posting it and again it's like my most viewed YouTube short and even TikTok ever which makes me feel pretty happy because I'm not a very good sewer I don't really do thrift flips anymore just because my skills are not that good and I'm definitely getting better and I feel like this was the very first project that I've ever done where I truly felt proud of it and I felt like I actually made something good. I mean, it still has some imperfections in there. Don't get me wrong, it is not perfect, but this was the easiest thing I've ever sewed. Literally took me 24 hours and although a lot of people were like, oh, it looks like a potato sack. It's a cute floral potato sack. I've been wanting to make a dedicated thrift flip comforter into a dress similar to this for an actual YouTube video. But every time I go to the thrift store, there's like no comforters. So that's why I have yet to make a YouTube video about it because I would love to obviously talk about the process of making it to then inspire any of you to make something similar. Because again, it was the easiest sewing project I have ever done which is saying something because again every time I whip out my sewing machine I have a breakdown and cry um and this one I actually didn't something very different than the dress is this Harley Davidson t-shirt and I wanted to include a Harley Davidson t-shirt because I mean Harley Davidson tees again were such a core part of my personal style 2018 2019 and it's not that I don't wear them anymore because I do I just don't really wear them in videos as much because I used to wear them at every single video and people would be like, it looks like you are wearing the same top because you're just wearing Harley Davidson tee. And so that's why I kind of stopped wearing them and then my style has kind of changed. But I would say I probably wear a Harley Davidson t-shirt every other day. I don't go out of my way to thrift them and I don't think I've thrifted necessarily a Harley Davidson t-shirt in quite a long time. But the ones that I have, I still wear. And out of all of them, I think this one's my favorite just because I now do mainly wear it as a pajama shirt, but I wear it day to day as well. But I really want to include it in this video because I feel like out of all of them, this is my favorite. Finding Harley Davidson t-shirts at the thrift store now, like so rare. And I'm lucky that my dad owns a lot of Harley t-shirts. So now he just like gives them to me. So a lot of them are hand-me-downs, but this one I did thrift again, I think in 2018. And I've also probably worn this in so many videos and it will forever be in my closet. Another thing that became honestly kind of like part of my personal style are kooky sweaters and come on look at this sweat of course i'm never gonna get rid of this this is the most amazing sweater i've ever seen in my entire life i think i thrifted this at the rose bowl sometime in 2019 maybe and i had no idea what kooky sweaters were and then after that i realized what they were and people are selling these for like 60 to 100 dollars i would say styling it is pretty like straightforward i kind of usually just wear it with denim so it isn't the most like exciting outfit ever but i mean the sweater is exciting on its own so that's that's honestly what makes it exciting which i feel like i might as well talk about another christmas that one it wasn't that i thrifted it because it was was a Christmas sweater. It just happens to have Christmas colors. But this one is a Christmas sweater, which is the Snowman Thrifted 
a cardigan. Like this thing, oh, I love it. it. Every time I look at it, like how could I not smile? I ended up thrifting this at a Jet Rag sale, which if you don't know what Jet Rag is, every Sunday, I'm pretty sure they have like a parking lot sale where they have just like piles of clothes and you just rummage through them and everything there is a dollar and i went with carrie back in 2018. most of the things i ended up getting smelled so bad or were like super itchy and like the first time i went i went too crazy and i've since said goodbye to probably all the pieces that i ended up getting except for this because this this is the only one that really didn't smell. I had washed everything in like vinegar to get out the smell. And this one actually wasn't that bad. But my favorite thing is guess guess what the buttons are? They are little snowmen. Like that is the cutest thing ever. I am obsessed with it. It is my favorite christmas winter sweater that i own i have a love for christmas sweaters honestly christmas sweaters and crewnecks i have a problem um but if you if you made me say goodbye to all of them except for one i would keep this we have a, another jacket and it has mickey and minnie on the back it is this polka dot red jacket and it it's interesting because it literally feels like I'm wearing a blanket anytime I wear it. Funny enough, I actually don't wear it very often. At least out, I'll wear it in the house, especially when it's chilly, but I really don't wear it out because it is so special to me and so unique. I got it at the Rose Bowl maybe in 2019. It's so cute and so unique and I am very much a sucker for anything Disney. I hate to say it, I am a Disney adult. I hope not a cringy Disney adult. And this is just the most unique Disney jacket I've ever seen. I have a Winnie the Pooh denim jacket and I love that, but I would say between both of them, I would never get rid of this. And I mean, talking about very special things, I had to include this piece in this video, which is my strawberry cardigan. Oh my goodness. This is another one where it was not that it was trend. Well, I feel like strawberries were very trendy in end of 2020, beginning 2021, but specifically like this cardigan I saw on a couple other people. And this was, I feel like the rise of knitting and crocheting, which is super awesome. And this is actually handmade. And it's the first piece I think I've ever owned that was handmade. And it definitely was quite pricey, but you can just tell the like, passion and detail that the person had put in and i mean it has freaking strawberries on it like are you kidding me this one is not going to surprise anyone it is my black leather blazer i mean it's just it's so good again i've worn it in every single outfits video in multiple just sit down videos it is originally from the company winglet and i thrifted this maybe from savers back in 2020 i think it was at the beginning of 2020 that i thrifted it and this is a hundred percent like a core part of my personal style i know i've said that for multiple i mean that's kind of like everything in this video that now it's a core part of my personal style but before then i was very much into denim jackets one of them i was going to put in this video and i decided not to because i was like honestly i love that one and i will never get rid of it but I just feel like this one is so classic. Like no matter how different your style becomes, a leather blazer like this is never going to be out there. I feel like it can truly go with anyone's style. And I'm so happy that it's finally cold enough for me to start wearing it again because I just feel naked without it. I feel like it's needed in every single outfit personally. And the last piece is another jacket and it is a denim jacket, but it's actually a jacket that I don't wear very often, but still I would never get rid of it. And it is this worn in black denim jacket that has on the back a patch that says Love Ride Harley Davidson Glendale, November 13th, 1994. I love the patch. It is so cool. I randomly found this out of Plato's closet, I think in 2019. And it is just such a cool jacket like that's literally why i will never get rid of it because it's just cool it's unique it isn't originally from harley davidson it's from the company butterfield stage and i don't own any denim jackets in this color so it is the only dark denim jacket that i own my dad has rode in a love ride so anytime i wear it he's like oh love ride and so that's also just like kind of nice <laughs> Alrighty, thank you so much for watching and listening to me just 
blab about all the clothes that I love. Let me know in the comments right down below what's one thing in your closet that you would never get rid of. As always, 99% of everything I talked about in this video was thrifted. I think there were only two things that technically I purchased new, which is awesome. So if you do like thrifting and secondhand fashion, then make sure to subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is alexsunshine83. I will see you in my next video and I hope you have a super sunny day. Bye.